Community means to come together and be one as a peoples. Together you are stronger. Together you can have a voice that can lobby for the benefit of all. You've been having a lot of people coming here, mixing with each other, talking to each other, and learning to live better with each other. There is about 50% of the community here that doesn't have its own garden, with no access to personal green space. There is a whole generation of children that have never had the opportunity to go into soil, grow something from seed, to plate. We've been eyeing up this land as a community for about five or six years. By creating this oasis, what it's done, it's empowered people to have a voice in this community. Not just a voice about the green project and the climate agenda, but a voice about everything. I was warned by my husband that when we move to Northolt, you're not talking to anyone, you know, you're not doing any community stuff. Let's just keep it ourselves but I couldn't I was like no this community needs to come together there's a lot of deprivation I've never been to an area that was so run down but so beautiful at the same time we started a garden we would have families come down and plant a few things and so much produce was grown courgettes uh, marrows pumpkins and that's where the cooking came out. It's just the knowledge, you know, that people just don't know how to make vegetarian food. And then also the perception that eating vegetarian is expensive. With breaking ground, I would like the people be aware what we can do from the community, what we can improve about sustainability. And in the top of everything, put the community together. So for the Breaking Ground project, we're going to have a community garden, we're going to have litter picking, we're going to have a newsletter, and we're going to have a community fridge. See those yellow eggs? That's going to be yeah. white. When we got the Breaking Ground grant, that suddenly caused a momentous change as to what we could achieve as a community. We've got physical space we call the Oasis but we've actually given our neighbourhood a beating heart. Herbs, tomatoes, carrots, peppers, courgettes, they're all being grown here. It's just uh, so overwhelming to see the benefits of people eating healthy and learning how to grow their own food and learning to enjoy the green spaces that are in this area. If you can have a place, then the food is there and the people can pick up the food without ask, you preserve the dignity of the people. I want you come in two years, interview me, and see how this project grows. It's really, really important to keep spaces like this. Now, it might not mean anything, somebody in their office not understanding what's going on, but to us here, we feel these effects. We're doing it because it's from our heart and we really want to see a change for our families and for our children who are growing up here. If we can make any kind of a difference um, to anybody in this community, it's been worthwhile. You know, why doesn't somebody do something about it? Well, somebody has done something about it. It, it feels sort of being part of something, being able to talk to people of, of probably never spoken to before. It tastes even better once you, if you grew it yourself as well. As a community, we do everything together. We see each other as a one. It all starts with a few people starting and then people look after and take pride in where they live a bit more. It just, it just kind of spreads the love all through the community. We feel it. It's ours. We own it. The Breaking Ground project has been exactly that, just breaking ground. <laughs>